Uh, I think from here, uh, we could potentially see oil prices. There are all signs that we could potentially see touch $100 per barrel oil in the quarter four. Uh, you know, because of a confluence of many factors, number one, uh, the quarter four demand growth is expected to be stronger uh, than the previous quarters. Uh, the second is uh, OPEC plus is withholding uh, supply uh, until December this year. And the third reason, uh, last uh, week, uh, Russia has banned the export of diesel and gasoline through the international markets. Now, that will again tighten the markets uh, from the diesel perspective. But again, that means that lost volumes from Russia will have to be made up by refiners elsewhere running more crude, and hence that will support the crude prices even further. And that is coming I, at a time I when... I that, that angle would actually push prices even further than 100, right? Because the pressure is so much in terms of the alternatives. Yeah. Absolutely. I think, I think we're seeing bullish factors more at this moment in the short term. But let's not forget, you know, on the on the surplus side, right, we have OPEC plus holding a spare capacity of mm. more than 4 million barrels per day between Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and UAE, mm. which can be brought in the market within a month's time. Mm. Uh, second, the economy is still fragile. Would they do that? Uh, coming under pressure from consumers like India and China? Well, I think, uh, see, if the prices, you know, uh, we don't believe that they were targeting $100 per barrel oil. So if mm. the prices remain $100 for a long duration of time, then yes, they can potentially come bring those supply back in the market. They always, you know, said that they want market stability, uh, and that's the reason why they have cut production, because they were yeah. fearing economic yeah. growth uh, will be fragile. So, uh, so I think they, they could bring that production back in the market. So, you know, coming to the point that, yes, $100 may not remain for a long duration of time, in our view. So yeah. quarter four is the tightest, you know, period where we see okay. uh, the markets can remain, you know, uh, high. But quarter one is a time when the seasonal demand is lower and hence mm. we expect prices to you know fall uh, at that time uh, fall to what so wh you know wh what's like let, let's say what's like long-term range for all prices? so the long-term range we are targeting between 80 uh, to 85 dollar barrel real uh, mm. prices in the mid to mid to long term which is still high for a country like India which is still high for a country like China which has uh, yeah. growing energy demand and I remember speaking with uh, Hardeep Singh Puri who's obviously the energy minister in India just recently at the B20 sidelines of the B20 summit and he was telling me that obviously ideally that's not that's not the kind of situation that they would uh, welcome but he says that oh, the, what, uh, what OPEC, OPEC plus nations need to also understand is that demand destruction is a very real possibility too if not destruction slow down on the back of higher oil prices and so yeah. higher oil prices will fix higher oil prices do you sense that yes absolutely see i mean see when we do a mid to long term balance right we have to look at we have already you know the demand growth already slows down you know bringing in the energy transition picture in the view, uh, India's demand growth still remains robust. Although they are trying to, you know, bring in, you know, more renewals in the market, more, you know, electric vehicles in the market, yeah. but the, there is so much of growth uh, left in India.